Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and this is Jackass Retro. One video people asked me to put together is a quick little how-to on shipping my postcards. So uh, I sell a lot of different stuff on eBay. I am a top rated seller and for me it's important to uh, maintain that. So uh, there's a lot of sellers out there who are, you know, using white envelope and a stamp just to mail out their postcards. That's fine. Um, however, for me, because I sell such a wide variety of other items, um, I really do want to be able to maintain that that top rated status as it does uh, very much help my sales overall. So um, what I do very straightforward. First thing, um, we're going to be mailing this out today. It's the Bank of Pleasanton in Pleasanton, California. Uh, pretty straightforward. We've got uh, two sleeves for the postcard itself. Uh, I use a penny sleeve, which is the thin uh, polyurethane sleeve right there. And then I put it into a hard plastic postcard top loader. Uh, this is already done right after I list the listings. Uh, as soon as I list them, this is how they get stored in my uh, in my storage. So the next element for me that I use is uh, these two little pieces of cardboard that I have cut to size uh, to the top loader. So basically all I'm doing here is making a little sandwich out of that. I'll put my little sandwich in one of these, which is a 45 RPM uh, record sleeve. These will cost you about a penny, about the same as the uh, penny sleeves that we put the postcard in. I then put my sandwich right in there. Uh, from there, uh, I always include a little thank you card to my customers. So we'll do that right now. Usually I will have that done already. So there we are. Put that right in there. Uh, now to seal this up, what I use is I made up these little stickers just right on my label printer. So these are just little, I made some stamp boxes. I, I thought that was kind of perfect for people who bought postcards. And I needed a way to seal up my little postcard sandwich here that didn't run the risk of causing any damage, right? This is a, you know, semi sticky thing. It's just enough to keep it sealed in that vapor barrier. Uh, from here, we'll take our little postcard sandwich. And Put it in, this is just a six by nine photo mailer. Good cardboard, good and sturdy. Just put that right in and we'll seal it up. Now, depending on the value of the postcard, we might be done here. Typically, if it's if it's 10 bucks or less, I'm just gonna ship it like this. Uh, but this postcard happened to sell for $30, so I'm just gonna put a, one more layer of protection here and just put it in a bubble mailer. These are the seven by nine. You can get them in six by nines, which work as well. This one just gives me a little bit of extra space on the end. The next size down, you're really kind of squeezing it in there. So I just seal that up. So now I've got the multiple layers of protection here. Um, and anyone who's paying $30 for a postcard, is going to appreciate the uh, extra protection, I guarantee you. So uh, what I'll do is bring in that extra slack there, fold it over, and just tape it down, and then you get the nice eBay logo for the people who are buying on eBay. Uh, this whole package still weighs only four ounces, which is the minimum weight for first class package. I don't even need to weigh it. I know what it weighs. It's going to be somewhere between about 3.6 and four ounces even. Uh, and then it's ready to go. Uh, print the label, put it on there, and off it goes. 
so thank you very much for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope this is something helpful for you. If you sell a wide variety of items like I do, uh, and you are perhaps a top rated seller and you want to maintain that. So thanks so much for watching. If it's your first time here, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I welcome your comments. And if you have ideas for future videos, please let me know. More than happy to uh, oblige. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye.